Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dan Shore at Dan Shore Music, talking all about the music of hip-hop, R&B, and basically anything in that sort of genre. I just recorded a tutorial of J. Cole's Sideline Story. If you're trying to figure out how to play a hip-hop song, and you're just doing it by ear, and there's no tutorial out there, uh, you know, there's some tricks really to doing this, and it's, it's not too difficult once you figure out where to go and what to do. So, the way I figured out J. Cole's sideline story was honestly listening back to the original sample of the song. So, uh, you know, here's here's the original, of course, of J. Cole. And what I want to encourage everyone to do when you're listening is really try to tune into the different elements of the music. And you, you probably do this already, but the one thing that really jumped out at me, because when it comes to making an arrangement on the piano, you know, you could copy my arrangement, but honestly, you know, it's fun to make your own arrangements as well. So I really try to tune into what are the actual chords. It gives you a great foundation, something to really grab onto when you're playing a hip hop song. The reason I chose to cover this song almost three years ago, I can't believe it was that long, was because I heard elements in the song that would make it really nice on piano. That's why a lot of people cover it, because it has actual chord changes. But you need to know what to listen to to pick up on what those chord changes are. So there's really that prominent guitar. It's kind of in the middle of the frequency range. And the guitar, in my ears, is really the most prominent thing that's giving us what the harmony, what the chords are in this song. And that's really the information we need to develop an arrangement. So this is where the, the, the trick comes in. You want to go back to the original sample of the song uh, and see if the sample that was used to create the song actually has the harmonic information in it. It has the chords, it has the notes in it. If you go to whosample.com, this is obviously where you can find all the information about who has sampled what uh, in hip hop music and uh, really any kind of music that uses samples. And uh, it's this track called uh, The World is a Place by Rhythm, and it's uh, from 1976. But if you jump ahead to the 22 second mark, you can really clearly hear the chords in this. I mean, all it is is guitar and then that little violin and melody on the top. So if you're somebody trying to figure out music by ear, go back to the original sample. That's where you're going to find the actual source of the notes that's in the hip hop music, uh, whether they're taking the sample directly or they're they're replaying a version of it. You're going to hear the notes that they got it from. So the trouble with this though is it's the sample's in a different key than the actual J Cole song. So J Cole is in the key of F minor, but this sample is in the key of D minor. So maybe I'll do a video in the future about how to learn something in one key and move it to a different key, it's actually not as hard as it might sound. Um, let me know if you're interested in that. But really, that's how I figured out Sideline Story was just going to the actual sample. That's just my little uh, trick to figuring out notes in hip hop music. Um, so, you know, you can watch my tutorials, but I really encourage you to try to use your own ears to develop that because honestly, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time and it just takes time but uh, not as much time as you might think, actually. So the more that you just, you know, put on a song you like and sit down and see if you can pick out any of the notes at all that you hear. Go to the original sample, see if you can pick out any of the notes that you hear. See if you can match them up, like, between the sample and the actual hip-hop song that you're listening to. Uh, I guarantee you, the more you do that, it's just like tasting food. It's just like observing things outside. Uh, you know, reading, watching movies, noticing things. It's just a, a muscle that you're going to develop. Um, and you're going to hear more and more notes, more and more things, and you're going to actually enjoy music a whole lot better as well. That's all I had to say for now. Um, let me know if you have any questions, anything you want me to teach you about hip hop music. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.